I've turned Kale Williams into a zero overall, but for every yard we get with him, we get to add plus one to any of his ratings. With the goal of getting him to a 99 overall, we need to get yards, and I thought running with him would work, but obviously that's not going to happen, so maybe a baby dot to a slant route will work. Yeah, no, that doesn't work either. Just throw the ball four yards, dude. With the Rice D coming down on us hard, I thought maybe a bubble screen would be the good option here, but no, that was the worst thing I've literally ever seen. But halfback slip screens were a nice little way to pick up some easy cheap cheap yardage. It wasn't something I could consistently do, but it was something that if we were able to throw a grown man off of us and get extra yardage, could easily get us some points to be able to upgrade our player. I kept on eating sacks though, so things weren't looking great for us, and it was kind of going back to back right here. Third and 28, I was looking, and we had somebody wide open, but the zero throw accuracy really showed itself right here, and another bubble screen just went totally to the wrong person, and they got it for a nice pick six. Now, I guess right here, Cale Williams, because we were down 14-0, decided to eat some buttery popcorn like Brucey from the longest yard because that was the worst thing I've ever seen. We are going to lose this game and so it's probably a good time to tell you guys that for every loss we get our yardage cut in half for the points we can give. So if we get 100 yards instead of 100 points because we lost it would be only 50 points and that pick right there basically seals the deal that we are going to lose this game unfortunately. All right man. We finished with 80 total yards but we had negative 46 rushing yards making 34 points total cut in half because we lost and we got to add 17 to our throw accuracy. Shockingly 17 throw accuracy doesn't do a ton for you as a quarterback as we're still throwing ducks and we're gargling sacks right now. Things are looking bad for us. And on this throw right here, I genuinely thought we had it open, but yeah. My brother in Christ, I swear that is the throw I need to be able to make. Things change on this drive right before half though as we hit a halfback screen to the right side for a good gain of seven and then we go right back to another halfback screen to the left side. Call us a halfback screen merchant. I do not care. Nobody asked you, dude. We're moving now. Right now, we're going. We have a post route going in the middle of the field and I realize as soon as I snap the ball, that they just blew their coverage. Make the throw, make the throw. Yes, come on, Kiki, yes! Oh, thank you! Our second goal in this challenge, by the way, is to win a bowl game this season, which means we gotta win six games, and things are looking bad right now. Fighting for our lives in the third quarter, backed up in our own end zone, we ended up throwing a pass deep downfield that actually was caught by the wrong dude, but I'm not gonna complain. Unfortunately, later that drive, I threw possibly a user error on this interception. I'm not going to say anything. 174 yards passing, negative 16 rushing. That gave us 79 total points. We went 19 to throw accuracy, and then we added 60 to our speed. We were still 40 overall, which was pretty annoying, but our legs were actually working this game, and the 60 speed was actually showing off. And even the throw accuracy, while our throw power, you could tell we were throwing ducks, the ducks were landing in the pond, which was nice. But I guess not every single play that's fair to say for, because on third and fifth, team we threw this duck which was just nowhere near now second and five in the second quarter we were getting close to halftime it was still zero to zero so we were fighting to get points on the board to pick up our first win and on second and goal with almost no time left we scramble right up the middle on this qb power rpo for our first study fourth quarter now seven to seven trying to take off the left sideline we're not able to at all our 60 speeds showing and then dropping back on third and ten we fumble the ball Oh, we were 7-7 seven seven ball game, and we just absolutely choked that one away. They took a three-point lead, and with about five seconds left, we have to throw a Hail Mary. We launch it into triple coverage. It was nice, though. We actually agged him, so we got extra yardage, but we end up having to eat the L. 126 yards passing is cool. 11 yards rushing, but we got to divide that by two. That gives us like 69, which is going to be an okay point total to put towards it. We decided to throw 34 of our points to throw accuracy to be able to get us all the way up to a 70. We ended up using 10 on throw power just to get it started. And then we ended up using 25 on speed to give us 85 speed. So we'd actually be able to use our legs a ton. Being a 40 overall was still pretty frustrating. But in our game in the Sun Devil Stadium, it actually felt good to be a real life quarterback where we were able to make throws and actually just look like an actual human being out there and help our team actually maybe win a game finally. We were able to just consistently dot up and made a pretty good throw to an out route right there on the sidelines. And in the end, near the end of the first quarter, we actually were able to roll out to the left and make a throw across our body it still was locked in the air like a duck but hey it looked good this mid screen was able to break off for a good gain and now being able to throw the ball was opening up our entire offense across the board but unfortunately we were still eating a lot of sacks which is cool when you're with your bros but on the football field you kind of want to have to avoid that to be able to win games it didn't really matter though on second and 10 we threw a laser over the middle to get down to the goal line and then we were able to scramble in the middle but we got hit and had to take three which is why you see us down three in the fourth quarter six to three and we missed a throw right there. Looking over the middle, we got swatted. 
And on our final attempt on 4th and 10, we were looking deep, but we ate another sack. We had to take the L, unfortunately, because of that. And we did finish with 260 passing yards, which was really nice. But negative 50 rushing yards because of all those sacks hurt us so much. This gave us 105 total points afterwards. We spent 20 on our throw accuracy and then 50 on throw power to get that bad boy all the way up. We were not going to be throwing any more ducks. We ended up going with an extra 5 to our speed to get us up to a 90. And then we gave our acceleration about 30 just to help us take off a little bit better this was pretty nice but we were still a 40 overall and i didn't totally understand that and as we played arizona we knew that we needed to start picking up some wins to be able to stay bowl eligible and in the second quarter we were down 14 but we were actually able to get something going with jude wolf getting a huge reception over the middle and then another tight end dot as we get all the way down inside the five yard line looking for a touchdown we run a speed option we're able to take it with caleb williams to the right side for a tutty third quarter now and we're looking for a screen on the left side able to get literally nothing out of it actually and we're getting blown out now at this point any life that we had was gone we got some garbage time yards which was you know always pretty nice but this was another l that was gonna push us to zero and five we got a lot of yards right here and we were able to make some pretty big upgrades overall getting the throw accuracy and throw powers up and then going to our speed and bumping that up to 95 along with helping our acceleration even more we finally hit a 68 overall boys seven games left and we had to go six and one at worst to be able to stay bowl eligible and against number 13 Notre Dame this was not the team that we wanted to have to be playing but Caleb Williams stepped up as a 62 overall hitting a dot to the left side and then looking over the middle for a deep ball finally things were coming together and our players were even getting some rack which was really nice looking again deep left side we're gonna throw an absolute laser beam for a touchdown and things were looking good down seven though in the fourth quarter Caleb Williams has to put the team on his back scrambling up the middle he's able to hurdle into the end zone and we hit overtime now looking to put the game away looking for a score right here nothing's really open we have to throw it we got it touchdown but this goes into another overtime as we throw a dot in the middle and we're able to get into the end zone with a rushing touchdown this was getting insane though as they kept answering right back every time we would we were able to get this two-point conversion to tie it up at 50 again though and then we had to answer with another tutty on the triple option this time i wasn't worried about yards i was worried about the w and here two-point conversion for Notre Dame. they're looking quarterback throws it nothing there we get the stop and we come away with the w a ton of yards for us boys and this is going to be a huge upgrade as we get to upgrade the carrying we get to upgrade a ton of different things the agility even got an upgrade we were looking pretty at a 72 overall and before this huge game against utah i'm making things a little bit harder on us where every point now requires two yards and ironically we actually got hurt pretty late into this game which meant our backup quarterback had to lead this overtime game winning drive right here which he delivered an absolute beam we got a good amount of yards right here out of it, so I'm still pretty happy. And these upgrades were going to be massive for us as awareness is a huge boost in the ratings. Elusiveness was really nice, and we finally became a 98 overall somehow, which I didn't think that jump was going to happen, but it did. We were playing against the Beavers, the Oregon State, and they were number 12 ranked. We had to keep on winning to stay bowl eligible, and we're only one overall away from our goal of 99. And Caleb Williams gets out right there, boys. He's going to the left sideline, the 10, the 5. He's going to hurdle into the end zone boys and we are serious this year down six in the four 10 seconds left kill was looking to the right side he's gonna be scrambling up the right he's wide open he's got the easy touchdown for the win we get some more upgrades and we're finally gonna hit that 99 overall rating right there boys and that's such a great feeling let's go man finally come on all that was left to do was to advance to the bowl season now. We similar all the way there to see if we made it, and we did at a cool 6-6 six six record. We're playing Wake Forest from the Holiday Bowl. Why not? And as a 99 overall quarterback, Caleb Williams now can do things that he could only dream of a mere weeks ago as he hits that dot on the right sideline. And then over the middle, he's going to be able to laser rope this into a tight window, boys. Rice down to the one-yard line. Caleb Williams jumps into the end zone. It's the slime zone now as we beat Wake Forest and become a bowl winner. If you like that video, boys, check out this one right here right a five-star quarterback and he made his college commitment